Hi, welcome to Ocean Alliance's new headquarters in the old Tarr and Watson manufactory buildings on the Gloucester waterfront. There's actually six buildings on site, three of which are brick buildings, and this is the one brick building that we finished. So come on in. So we're in the ground floor of what was the old office and laboratory. It's amazing with all of these windows because it's like being in a boat. Out of every window you see water. This building is the building that's farthest out of all the buildings. It sort of sticks into the harbour. And it's probably the building that was in the best shape of all the buildings on site. We've restored the old woodwork and really tried to keep as much of the authentic details as we can. I love the old stairs that are in the building here. It's amazing if you look at the edge of these steps, they're all worn away. You wonder how many people walked up these stairs in the 140 years that um, these buildings have been around. So here we are upstairs in building E. This door used to lead to a, a, a fly bridge that uh, went across to building C. It's now our complaints department. But actually, as we look at this room, it, it truly is spectacular. The light in here, the view, so we use it for our offices, for a couple of staff, it's for our conference room. We have a small utility room there. Um, it's really come out very well. I will admit, I, I just love this. I love this room up here. As we clean up the site, we're discovering all sorts of sort of new areas. And this is one of them, the courtyard between uh, building C and building AB. It's pretty amazing. Hopefully we can even potentially get this courtyard glassed off at one point in time. And you can see the chimney there. We're actually working on a Community Preservation Act to get that chimney fixed. It's got a crack in it. But I love the, all the hidden spaces we have here at the paint factory that we're, we're cleaning up slowly one by one. So this is what the inside of the other brick building looked like before we did all the work on it. We've had all of this clean, it's been ice blasted, all the lead paint is gone, but this is the building we're working on next. We're going to put a new roof on it, put new windows in it. The exterior walls will need insulation and drywall, but the interior walls will leave as brick. And of course, what's lovely is we've got all these old artifacts in some of these buildings. So this is the next. Hopefully next time we'll, uh, we'll get this building fixed up. This is building C the most polluted building on site. We've got a real problem with this building. This is where they manufactured the paint. And we found arsenic, lead, chromium, mercury. So we haven't quite worked out everything that we're gonna do with this building, but you can see on the floor, there's literally three or four inches of paint, the residue, if you like, of, of 140 years of manufacture. It's still a beautiful building though. So we've done a lot, but obviously we've got a long way to go. I want to thank everybody that's volunteered with time, with help, with equipment. And to the rest of you, if you're interested, come on down, check the place out. And uh, if you win the lottery or just want to help, please just give us a call. Thank you.